Hello everyone. So I thought today what I'd like to show is um, a bit of guitar maintenance. So here we have my guitar. This is my preferred acoustic guitar. It's also my nicest sounding acoustic guitar. You can see it's um it's a breed love brand. I chose this guitar for its tonality mainly um, and ease of playability. But um, what I'd like to show you guys today is simply how to keep it sounding good. So we have um, a number of different things we're going to do today. So you could just bear with me and I'll go over the different steps. So right now, let's see if you can see this. These strings are kind of old. I've played this quite a bit since I last strung it. Let's see if I can find it. I can see it right here, so it's pretty difficult to tell, but they're actually these tiny um, indentations on the strings where uh, this metal bar, so this is, a, this is known as a fret the space between these metal bars. And when you press down on a string, the string um, rests on the metal bar. And over time, if you spend a lot of time pressing down on these strings next to these metal bars, um, the tiny strings begin to wear. And so certain spots where I tend to play a lot on um, tend to get more worn out than others. So for instance, I'm just scanning it right now. Right here there's um, some, some wear on this string. And what happens is that over time the wear on the strings just make it so that um, the sound gets kind of distorted or it might go out of tune quicker, things like that. I normally play that chord um, in a different tuning, actually, but um, I play that on a considerable amount in a number of my songs, so it makes sense as to why it's worn out right there. Other spots, um, I typically play in this range a lot. This is the 7th and the ninth fret, so there's a lot of wear in those areas. Another thing that you could see happen is um, the strings start to corrode, so the metal starts to corrode, and it might start turning black. So sometimes you'll look at your fingers and there will be black bits all over them. But um, these strings don't seem to be very much corroded right now. Nonetheless, I think it's a good time to change them. So, let's see. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the strings off. And the way that you do that is you basically unwind them up at the head. This is the head. This is a capo. This is used to um, to rest over. And that'll change the key that you're playing in. I normally just store it at the top up here. So what we're going to do is just simply start detuning these keys. So I'm just loosening it up right now. I'm going to need to loosen it for quite some time. So 
So let's see here. Basically just unwinding it. You can see here that um, it's quite wound up right here. So now we're just loosening it up. And there it goes. <laughs> so at this point, I can almost pull it out. And you can see down here, um, the way that this works is that you poke it through this little hole back here, so to take it out, and pull it like that. Alright, and here we have this, this little knot here, so this is going to be difficult to pull through this little hole. And that's fine. Wire cutters come in handy. So these are pliers and also wire cutters right here is probably where it cuts wires. So I'm just going to snip this. And there we have that knotted end. It's now no longer a problem. We pull it out the back. So that's um that's how you take off a string. But we've got five more strings. So I'm just going to start detuning this. And here we go. There are devices you can buy that um, automatically twist these keys. I've never actually used one before. I've always used the old old-fashioned hand method. But um, Supposedly it goes quicker. I'd imagine it would go quicker. These are the lovely sounds you get when you're taking the strings off of a guitar. So, again, just threading it through. And again, I'm going to snip it. And there, the second string is off. Wasn't that easy. Alright, let's do the next one. So. Again, I'm going with the, the next string. I'm listening to it. As it gets looser, you can hear some low, really vibrating sounds. <laughs> Doesn't sound very good. So I'm continuing to. Unwind this. Oops. Sometimes your strings will make weird noises like that. Alright. All kinds of noises here. Typically when you change strings, you change them all. Um, there we 
we go. One reason for this is um, strings aren't normally sold alone. They're sold in packs of six if you're buying guitar strings. And um, so it would just become kind of a hassle to keep changing one string at a time. But oftentimes your strings get corroded somewhat equally. And um, if you think about it, you basically have this thin piece of metal that's being stretched for however long you keep them on your guitar. So I've had these strings on here for at least a couple months. Um, and I'm a fairly active guitar player, so it's about time that I change them. But yeah, you can imagine that a tiny string of metal that's being pulled for that long eventually is going to get warped and it's going to start affecting the sound. And we can't have that, can we? All the places on the string where um, those malformations happen, like I was describing earlier, you can actually feel them on the string. Um, let's see, actually, you might be able to see it with just the string by itself. It's pretty, um, let's see if it'll focus on it. Look right here, you can kind of see that. Part of the bronze plating or whatever is rubbed away, and that's where it was rubbing against one of the metal bars on the sides of the frets. And if you see the rest of the string, you can see that there's a number of those indentations or parts where it's been rubbed away. So, it's a good thing we're changing that. Another thing about changing your strings that allows you the opportunity for it is is the um, the ability to clean your guitar, particularly the fretboard and places under the under the strings. So I've got some cleaning supplies with me. So, um, I'll be able to polish it up, make it shine. Let's see here. This one needs a bit more loosening. Looks like it probably will be enough. Maybe a little bit more. This one was really bent around this key. There we go. When stringing in a guitar, um, ooh, that was a lovely sound. Oftentimes, up at the top when you're wrapping it around that, um, kind of, I'm not sure, I'm sure what it's called, but This little thing with it, it has a little tiny hole in it. Um, this protruding thing coming out of the key, the key turns. Um, usually what you do is when you put it through, you kind of wrap it around itself. Um, you can see here, 
um, not only is it wound around, but it's wrapped kind of in a half of a knot. So, when you're undoing it, um, you have to undo the knot, or the half of the knot. So. Anyway, we're almost done de-stringing this guitar. And we'll get to cleaning and polishing it. something. There we go. And from these strings rattling around you get all those kinds of interesting noises. There we are. So, here's a guitar with no strings. Oops. <laughs> and you can see this. This is part of the bridge here where the strings rest. And on my guitar, it just simply comes in and out. But before I restring it, I definitely want to make sure it's placed back in. But for now, we can take it. So, I have a couple different tools at my disposal now. I have this um, it's Fender Mist and Wipe Finish Enhancer. So, um, this is the first thing I got with my old electric guitar. It was a Fender American Deluxe Stratocaster. And that guitar was unfortunately stolen. And since then, I have invested in instrument insurance. So now I'm not as worried about my stuff getting stolen. That guitar was uh, somewhat precious to me in the fact that I had it for years. But it has been replaced. I don't think I'm going to quite use this right now. I have this other cleaner, Music Nomad 1. Um, clean, polish, wax, and protect in one easy step. Seems simple enough, right? So, shake this. Does it say to shake? Yes, shake bottle well. start by cleaning this outer area. There's a lot of a lot of dust and stuff right here. Let's take care of that. I have this microfiber cloth. So This stuff smells really sweet for some reason. Almost want to lick it off the guitar. <laughs> so now I'm just slowly cleaning this. In circular motions. I 
can already see it start to shine. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that shine. <laughs> you can see some of the nicks in my guitar up here. That. Oh, we've got some gunk up here. Better clean that off. Sharpen this wood right here. Trying to get along the crevices. Maybe I'll clean off this little piece of plastic too. Show it some love. on the front of the body. Let's do the neck. Here I'm going to spend a bit more time um, doing each fret because the frets get dirty. It's good to have clean fingers when you play guitar but it doesn't always happen. <laughs> There's always dirt and grime on your fingers. Oh, you can see all that? Look at all that grime. I should do this more often. It's looking much better. Need some more cleaner. hard to make sure that I'm scrubbing this grime off of it. Let 
can start to see the, the beauty of the pearl in my Super dirty. Mm -hmm. I need a bit more fluid in these last few frets. Pretty good. I'm just using the light to see. And I've got cleaning of the head portion here. This part also gets dusty sometimes when you don't clean it for a while. It's actually not very dusty right now. But I guess that's uh, a good thing. Ooh, out of those sprays. Let's see. Mm It's looking fairly polished, fairly clean. Let's do the other side. I'm just going to keep working on the head here. And, um, making this beauty shine. Well, no one really sees the back of the head, but it doesn't matter. We're going to treat every part with love. Love and cleanliness. and smooth. It's important to have the neck smooth so that your hands can easily glide across it. It feels really smooth right now. The back of the guitar doesn't get as dusty since it's normally up against your body and things like that. Polish it anyway.
Should I get the sides? There we go. Oh yeah, it's really starting to shine now. Do you see? Look at that shine. Let's see. Well, it's looking pretty clean right now. Look at that reflection. This is an extra wide guitar. This space from here to the bottom is... It's not, it's not just a jumbo, it's larger than a jumbo, so... I find it to make a really beautiful tone, though. That's the reason why I was drawn to this guitar in particular. My glove is pretty dirty now, I probably need to, to wash it or It's pretty soft, my fingers are so rough in comparison. Something that happens when you play guitar is that your fingers get very calloused. Actually notice that the bits of flesh in the end of my fingers are basically worn off from playing for so long. But it's kind of cool having these insensitive ends. The pad is still very sensitive, but the, the tip is not. But it comes in handy sometimes. <laughs> so here's the guitar. Sometimes I like to play. <laughs> I like to play with any strings. You can imagine what it might sound like. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I was going to put more strings on this guitar. Like I'll need to do now before I can play this wonderful thing again. But I think it might be a bit loud. Even louder than the taking off of the strings. So perhaps I'll do that a little bit later. For now. Just check out this. Beauty in the wood. And smoothness of the glass. It's very smooth. And also this pretty inlay. I think this is abalone, not pearl. <laughs> abalone inlay. Something else you might be able to see. Oh. Oh, it's pretty difficult. I was going to show you all the marks on the pick card. That's the name of this piece right here. Because when you strum, you 
go down often and the strikes, the pick might strike this area. The idea is to protect the wood from being damaged. I don't think it's that necessary though. Because um the wood is thick enough and the pick is made of plastic, so how much can rubbing plastic gently on a against a piece of wood really damage it? But I suppose um in time with lots of playing where in terror could happen. So there you have a clean guitar. A clean breed love guitar. I can't wait to put some strings on this and hear the beautiful resonance, beautiful vibration, but I'll need to do that shortly. So I hope you enjoy the cleaning of this guitar. Maybe you learned a thing or two about guitars, but it's time to go now. So take care, everyone.